Hi, I'm Emma. I'm a certified Dubsado specialist. And in this video, we're going to talk about setting up contracts in Dubsado. So to be clear, I'm not going to talk about contract wording. Um, it's up to you to you know, work with a lawyer or purchase a contract, whatever it is that you want to do. So I'm not giving legal advice in this video. So make sure that the wording that you want to use is in the contract. Um, in Dubsado, there is a template library. Um, and if you go in there, you can find contracts. Again, I don't know if these are going to work for your business, but these are a starting point. Um, or if you're just practicing using Dubsado, you know, feel free to test with one of these. Okay, so I'm just going to choose one of these. I'm going to preview it. I'm going to copy it to my account. And I'm going to start with this one. Okay, so the best thing that you can do with your contracts in Dubsado is use smart fields. So smart fields, what they will do is pull information about the client or the project or both into your contract automatically if it has that information. So when you're using smart fields in your contract, you just have to be mindful of do you have that information already? Because if you don't, it's going to show up blank. And then you're going to have to manually go in there and add the information. So it kind of defeats the purpose of having the smart field. So if you look inside of this contract here, you can see this agreement is between this is a smart field so brand name so it would say in this case sally sanders if that's the brand name that she set up in her settings um for the job title so she would have to have that added um for the fee of and that would pull the total amount that the person is being billed right so what are some other smart fields that you can use so one of the smart fields that i use often if you go to the invoice is you're going to see payment plan so you can you know this is going to show the installments that your client is going to pay when okay so if you said you know a thousand dollars is due when the invoice is ap applied payment plan is applied to the invoice so as soon as that invoice is generated that is the date that's going to pop up here and it's going to say a thousand dollars due on Let's say it's today, February 21st. Um, and then the next installment you're going to say is zero days after project end. So this will make more sense to you once you go through the payment plan video. That will be part of this series. But um, depending on you know, what those dates are, if those dates are set, the, the contract will show date and amount. So that's an important thing to, uh, to put into your contracts, I think. Um, because it will show the client when different things are due, um, how much and when. Um, so you can see there's a huge list of different smart fields that you can pull here. So sometimes it'll show, you know, between brand name and um, that's located, you know, and then your address will appear. So your business address, your brand address. So it's going to, you can put that in there and it will pull the, address that you've put inside of your settings and then for the client if you've asked them for their address in the proposal or you know in the lead capture wherever it is that you're asking for it makes sense in the in the proposal to ask for some of this information um, you would put that you know client name you know located and then you would go to the smart field and find the client's address there um, you can put their phone number. So there's a lot of things that you can add into your contracts with smart fields and automate it so that once it's set um, and you know that that information has been provided by the client at that stage, it's just all automatically going to come together and you just basically apply the contract to the project and send it out. You don't have to go in the contract every single time and manually add things. So that's the beauty of using smart fields inside of your contracts. Um, the other important thing inside of contracts is basically you're going to scroll down here and make sure that you've added the signature. So if I scroll down, this signature area is basically this. So let me delete this one. So let's pretend let me move myself over here. So let's pretend that you're adding the signatures. Okay. So this one is the client. You're going to click that and you're going to make it required. The side is going to force that obviously. Um, and then you're going to grab another one. You're going to scroll down here and put it 
beneath coach and you're going to make sure that this is you and you can change this wording that's what appears up here um but everything else you know you you want to sign it and you want your client to sign it so that's how you do that if there are spots in the contract where you need to have the client put their initial you can do that with this okay so let's pretend that there's two text blocks and then between the two text blocks you want to make sure that they initial something regarding this first text block here you're going to put their initial there and you're going to force it right everything else is similar to the proposal templates or questionnaires what is unique to contracts is the signature and the initial um, everything else is basically the same um, so you can, you know, add images, you can do all of that stuff. I tend to keep contracts very simple because I want people to read them um, and focus on the text of the contract. The important thing inside of Dubsado is that once you have the contract, you can use Dubsado smart fields and replace some of the wording that you have in your contract with Dubsado smart fields where it makes sense. And when you know that that information will be provided by the client at that point in time. And if it's not provided, then you have to think about where can you collect that information? Is it in your lead capture? Is it in your proposal? So that when you're getting to the stage of the contract, all of that information is there and you don't have to go into your contract and manually add that information. Um, that's how Dubsado can really help you save time.